a very cozy little puzzle to do. Hogsmeade Village in the snow. They're not all animals, of course. Look at that. Unless there are like insects or something, but <laughs> little aliens. Maybe a, a skew of bat there. This is Jen. Is there, my lovely sleepy squirrels. This evening I am unboxing some jigsaw puzzles. We are getting right into autumn, almost into winter now, so this is the season for all the puzzles. One, two, three, four, I think five, possibly six, probably five, possibly six to show you. So there will be a lot of tracing on the covers of the puzzles. But I'm still going to do a few minutes of sleepy cardboard sounds at the beginning. If you just want to see the puzzles, feel free to skip ahead. Timestamps are down below. Otherwise, enjoy.
now that we are hopefully nice and relaxed, let's have a little look at this first puzzle. So it's not your simple um, thousand piece jigsaw puzzle, Ravensburger kind of thing. This is more like a little challenging, difficult one. Mysterious Lion Wooden Puzzle. And the difficulty level is Challenger. And it's an A3. a lion there with all these gorgeous colors and all of the pieces you've probably seen puzzles like this everywhere but all of the pieces are like little um, animal shapes either animal or random I can see some are obvious animal shapes and some look a little just all over the place. Yeah, it's kind of like a challenging puzzle, but by the looks of it, I don't think it'd be that challenging because we do have a model to follow. There are some puzzles like this where you don't really have a model to follow, it's all the same color. That's challenging. So yeah, it looks pretty fun. Shall we have a look at some of the pieces? Just in like a Ziploc bag. That seems strange. Um, I got this from Amazon. Um, I don't remember the seller or anything like that. So this piece is a little wolf. Look at that. Quite thin little edges and stuff. Here's the front. So this is part of what? of the side spike here. I would say that it's here. The purple here, maybe? I would say that, yeah. But then, could it be like from the other side? No. I think it's there. It does look like it will be a slight challenge, but not like crazy challenging. Looks like it will be done in an evening could be underestimating it though. The pieces are fun. They're not all animals, of course. Look at that. Unless they're like insects or something, but <laughs> little aliens. Maybe a, a skew of bat there. <laughs> no, I think we just have a few. For example, this one. I'd say that's a little rabbit. You think a rabbit? Definite monkey there. Look at that little monkey. It's very intricate. a few pieces that are very much animals and then others that are just the in-betweeny parts. Have a little chick there. Cute little chick. The pieces like for example his <laughs> little feet like that is gonna be very specific when you put the other pieces in. I don't break any of them. I like it. Cool. Okay. So let's move on to the next puzzle. I think this is maybe the most different kind of puzzle. The other ones are like very obvious puzzles, like Harry Potter ones and stuff. <laughs> I 
just realizing that even the box is a little DIY-ish. And the printing on the front, it's like a sticker. Because the writing is just a little bit fuzzy, if you know what I mean. It seems quite good. Wow. This is a 3,000 piece Hogwarts puzzle. <gasps> Thinking about it, it's going to be huge. Um, I am doing a 3,000 piece puzzle right now. Um, and it is very colourful, there are different separate parts, a lot of um, little details and colours and flowers and you know it's a kind of like a classic puzzle and just thinking about the fact that that's quite like you know time consuming and stuff this one, look at the colours, everything is kind of not monotone as such, but very, like, similar. <laughs> I'm just thinking all of this is gonna look exactly the same in puzzle pieces. <laughs> I'm gonna be able to pick up these parts at the top, these parts, and then the rest is gonna be just, like, more and more difficult. I'm excited. So this will probably be the next, um, big puzzle I do. 3,000 pieces is basically the size of my dining room table and I have one of those big felt um, mats that roll up around like um, a blow-up tube so you're, you can have a puzzle on the go and just roll it up. It's really practical for anyone who likes big puzzles. Um, if you have like a thousand piece it can kind of stay on the table and the four of us can eat, like, semi-comfortably but you know, a thousand piece is going to stay around for a week a three thousand piece, however, will stay around for a lot longer <laughs> just remove this plastic so it's not in your typical box it's kind of in a more cube-shaped box it might take me a minute to get the lid off though. Here we go. I can see like a few different colors already, like with the sky. We have some green and gray. So, not too colorful. One big. I'm actually quite excited for the challenge now. Hopefully, because it's Harry Potter, my daughter will be a little more interested in helping. Um, with the one that I have on the table right now, I'm leaving it on there for the week because we're on holidays, like the school holidays. Um, so it's, she's like picking up a few pieces here and there, but like, you know, Maybe the Harry Potter one will interest her more. So yeah, this is my next challenge, challenge puzzle. I do have a 4,000 piece waiting for me. I just don't have the space to actually do it. <laughs> like I could do it on the floor, but it would be on the floor for a very long time and I just don't like, there's no place in my home that doesn't get used. And my puzzle mat thing is too small for 4,000 beads. Okay. Close this up. <laughs> Age 14 and up. That's like difficulty wise. Okay, let's have a look at the next. 
And this one is also a Harry Potter one, the same brand, Aquarius, like an official Wizarding World product. I think, if I remember correctly, these were on sale. Um, I don't know which Amazon sale it was, but I got most of these from Amazon. I just went on a little puzzle spree. So I thought this was a little different. Um, a lot of the Harry Potter puzzles are a little too... Like, I don't know, the design of them is just not pleasing to me. There are a lot of puzzles that look like film posters or like they just have the characters all over the place or something. But I thought this one was quite cool because it was the places. So we have the Azkaban prison here. It's a very dark part of the puzzle. The Whomping Willow here. There are like little paintings. It's cute. The Forbidden Forest. Looking up. What does that say? Visit your own risk. All aboard the Hogwarts Express. This looks like an English countryside kind of thing. The painting of the steam train kind of thing. Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. The Shrieking Shack. The burrow, the dark one too. Hogsmeade Village in the snow, and the Ministry of Magic. They look just like these cool posters, you know. Like sometimes people make posters, reimagining film posters and stuff. They look in the same kind of style. And yeah, I thought this one would be a fun one. And it's just in a thousand pieces, so, you know, it should be quite easy. Step into the magical world of Harry Potter. This 1,000 piece puzzle will let you travel to all the wonderful and magical places that make the wizarding world so memorable. And this next one, and the other two after, um, is kind of, I'm collecting a little Harry Potter series of them. I have one, which one do I have? Prisoner of Azkaban. I have the Prisoner of Azkaban, and I grabbed three more. I will get all of them at some point, but they seem to like fluctuate in price. So I just grab them when they're like a little cheaper. I know. It's really silly because it's only like a few euros or whatnot, but it just feels okay when I do it like that. So yeah, so this one is portraying the Order of the Phoenix. You can just see all the little details, like the ministry. These little letters. I 
just think they're aesthetically pleasing. Like I said earlier, a lot of the Harry Potter kind of puzzles and stuff are just a bit eh, look like movie posters or collages or something. This next one is a representation of Deadly Hallows. So it's a little darker and it's pretty cool. So we have the three heroes here in the vault with all these cups multiplying. The sword. Lots of little details like the dragon, guts, cable thingies, the mine cars. So this one is obviously the Goblet of Fire, right here. And it's an alright one. I think Harry looks a little strange here, but you know, I like the overall effect of it. Sometimes they, the characters in them look a little bit like they're just photos that have been put into Illustrator and transformed. Have Harry's name that went in there. And you see, well, that's the other's name. Sorry, there's a reflection of the little ring light there. Yeah, Fleur de la Cour. That one's crumbs. So it must be Cedric. The little <laughs> badges, Potter stinks. Try wizarding. Oh, tombstone here. Thomas Riddle, Mary Riddle, Tom Riddle. Grim Reaper there. Which leaves the Hungarian horn tail. <laughs> Spiky fella. 
And we have Harry escaping on his bridge. I still have one more puzzle to share with you guys and it's not Harry Potter Surprise! And this last one is lovely and dark I love it It's a 1,500 piece from Clementoni I don't know, <laughs> seems like good quality and it is this gorgeous like stormy pirate ship kind of skull castle island stormy skies lightning coming down it's just a mood I like it a lot can even see the rain coming down at the top there I think it's probably not going to be a very difficult puzzle just because even though it does look like just a big greyish kind of thing there's a lot of specific detail going on everywhere I think it's going to be a very cozy little puzzle to do I'm going to leave this video here for this evening I hope that you found it relaxing maybe a little interesting Lovely, 